Okay, hang on a second. Ooh, thank you, Aldenon and Miss Seiko. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, sorry, bear with me a minute. I'm just trying to figure out why the audio keeps resetting itself. Stand by. So hang on. So I'm just trying to modify the the Windows options uh, because for some reason the in-game the in-game audio keeps resetting itself up to up to maximum. Okay. Well, hang on. I guess I'm just gonna have to look. It maximizes itself each time. I'll just turn it down manually then. Right. Oh, I'll just, I'll just uh, turn that down for a minute. Um, but yes, anyway, so good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you all, and uh, welcome. Uh, yes, apologies, I'm a bit late. Um, <laughs> I was trying to decide what to play this morning, and I uh, was just going through the Steam list to see what was around, and I figured, well, what the hell, I'll give this a go. Uh, so for the unfamiliar, uh, thank you very much, Heart Attack and Captain Hook. Thank you. That's very kind of you both. For the unfamiliar, this is Hitman Blood Money. Uh, it is the fourth entry in the series created by, I believe it's uh, Eidos? No, wait. It's, yes, it's, sorry, it, it's, uh, no, I'm so sorry. Eidos is the publisher, isn't it? IO Interactive is the, it, is the developer. Um, so it's the fourth entry in the Hitman series. Uh, beforehand, we saw uh, well, the original Hitman, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, and then I believe it was Hitman Contracts, followed by this, Hitman Blood Money. Um, it, is, it is considered by many to be the best, of the franchise, um, but to be, on, to be honest, that's up for debate. I know that there's a lot of uh, a lot of people who find Hitman Contracts uh, to be the best, but uh, yes, it, it's very, very good. Um, so yes, I was just going to give this a go, and um, yeah, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Friday. Uh, so just before I get going, though, just to bring you up to speed, um, so this week it's the third week of work on the latest bullshittery episode for YouTube. Uh, it's the end of the third week of work. Um, thank you, the Oris. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. That's very kind. Um, so it's the end of the third week of work on uh, PUBG Bullshittery Part 3. Uh, the work has been fine, actually. It's been pretty good. Um, it, the episode is, is... I wouldn't say it's near complete, but it's certainly edited from beginning to end uh, with all of the text there. It's just that in some cases, I, you know, it's entering the quality assurance stage, uh, which basically means I go through, I rewatch it like a hundred times. Well, that's an exaggeration. I rewatch it many, many times and try to spot the areas that perhaps I'm not happy with, go back, to, you know, modify it, make some changes and generally polish. Um, this process normally takes a couple of days, but, you know, it, it, honestly, it varies quite wildly so you know could it could take longer uh it, it's just a, it's just based on how much i might need to change uh and uh but yeah what i'm saying is the video the video is almost done i just need to polish it to uh to my satisfaction also sorry for some reason i, I don't know why it is but my my uh my browser window keeps graying out it's back now i had to refresh it um thank you dry pixel and alios and mr cack perp and sarah the sheep thank you very much all of you that's very generous um, right, okay, so, I will turn down the movie volume just a bit, because that did get super loud. I don't know why it's resetting. Um, okay. Right, so turn that down. Yeah, let's just, let's just, hang on. Just fiddle it with a little bit. Right, okay, so, uh, yes, this is, uh, so Hitman Blood Money. So the game opens up. Uh, with the uh, the protagonist of the series, uh, well, the uh, the anonymous hitman, Mister Forty Seven, apparently dead <laughs> on this uh, on this table at some sort of funeral, being held or being uh, officiated uh, by a uh, a man in that wheelchair over there. So um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm actually. Too... I'm gonna take. I don't want to. I don't want to like be running the same levels constantly to try and complete. Uh, yeah, we'll go with. We'll go with the expert mode, which is um, increased AI behaviors, three saves only. We'll have to. We might mix it around if I struggle, but you know, we'll see. Confirmed reports of an accident at Southwind Park. I can't find my boy. Hundreds of family members 
gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second investigation of the park's safety authorities concerns. report at least 30 deaths and close to five years injuries. since the tragedy closed the gates of southland park but new evidence is claiming form. malicious prosecution and believes he'll be vindicated he every at last. penny of his fortune the defending legal himself eagle from these Dream lawsuits team. defending southland park all over oh there were people flying everywhere it was Bonnie Park. and the victim's what? families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision <laughs> Declared of all charges. Okay. Welcome to Southlands Park. This training level will ah. introduce to you the various skills and techniques required. To effectively undertake the missions ahead. I might need this as a refresher, to be honest. Uh, thank you, Hera and Mr. Cackperp, uh, Jack Lad, Shane, and House Musty. That's very kind of you all. Thank you. Very generous indeed. Um, okay, so what we've just learnt is that there was a severe accident uh, here at Southlands Park, which resulted in the deaths of uh, 36 people, and presumably the injuries of many, many more. Uh, and uh, it seems to be the responsibility, well, or rather safety lapses, uh, which were thrown at the feet of uh, a gentleman who calls himself, what was it, the Swing King? Uh, so clearly we're here on the orders of a, 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 an upset uh, couple, or rather father, missing his son to well, exact revenge. Uh, okay. Uh, the action menu is displayed in the upper uh -huh. left corner. Oh yes, of, of course. G space Actions e. that can be performed and their corresponding buttons are displayed here. Okay. The bar oh. in the lower left corner represent starting from the left, health status and tension. Mm -hmm. The icon in the lower right corner displays the currently equipped item and its ammo status. The compass is displayed in the upper right corner. Displayed at the top of the screen, the headlines will offer suggestions on what to do next. The exclamation mark appears every time new information is present. Press the briefing key to enter the information menu at any point. Use the movement keys to move around the environment, and use the mouse to look around. To run, hold the run key while moving. To sneak, hold the sneak key while moving. <laughs> thank you, I get that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you very much, Olivia. You can't hear what the speaker's saying. Is it too quiet? Do you need me to increase the uh, the game's volume? Okay. Right. Uh, that's quite... Sorry, it's quite... Um, oh, can I do that? Oh, no, I can just um, do it from my mouse. I've got, like, two mouse settings. Like, one for fine mo fine motion and the other for, uh, well, normal mouse speed. If I, put it, if I put it on fine motion, it's not so bad. It helps with editing quite a lot, actually. Um, it's a bit quiet. Okay, that's fine. I can turn it up for you. Not a problem. It's currently up by four decibels. I'll double that to eight. Uh, stand by. Okay. So it's currently 6.6. .6. So I'll increase it a bit more. Yeah, not a problem. I can do that for you. Okay, it's up by 8.3 decibels. So, so the the set, yeah the game should be much much louder now. Um, right. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, welcome to Southlands Park. Long since abandoned, it seems. Right. So, uh, if you're not familiar, the idea behind the Hitman game, a game franchise, is that uh, it is effectively a stealth repetition game. Uh, in that the idea is to, uh, well, sneak your way to your target, assuming various disguises, and assassinate, uh, well, assassinate your target with a, a whole load of different options. Uh, each individual level is very, very freeform, with, um, you know, the whole, just a, a, a range of ways to do it. It's entirely up to you. Um, and the series is really the, one of its main strengths is its replayability. I say uh, repetition because uh, effectively one of the incentives behind doing Welcome each level States, is to do it better each time. This should be a straightforward operation. Thank you, Char Wars. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. 
there is. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. Okay. Hang on. So, uh, sorry, people are asking for subtitles. Uh, oh, okay. So let's have a look and see if they're any good. If they're shit, then I'll get rid of them. Um, okay, so, um, right. So yes, we need to investigate. So uh, a local uh, narcotics distribution ring. So a gang. Right, okay, so just walk to the main gate then. Let's have a look. Is this my first time playing? Uh, no, this would be my... Well, I couldn't... I'm not entirely sure of the number, but certainly... I, it's, it's less than ten, more than five. But I'm narrating what I'm seeing, because if I don't, then that would make me rubbish at streaming. Um, okay. Attorney. Andrew Chisler, attorney at law. Uh-oh. So maybe an attorney representing the fa representing the families. That's not suspicious. Hello. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh. That sorry ass dig here. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> okay. We're in. Okay, let's have a look around. They dragged the lawyer through here into the gift shop. So hang on, I'm just trying to remember all the controls. If I, so if I hold it, if I hold down the E key, I get a contextual menu. So normally I can look through the locks, but I guess I can't on this door. I'll just open it. Do I have my weapons now? I've got my fiber wire. I believe it's just the fiber wire for now. Okay. Distract the guards. Oh yes, okay, so... Hang on. I can't remember the key. There's a, there's a throw a coin. I'm trying to remember what it is. Hang on, I'll go back here for a second. Not G. Space, not space. F, maybe? T. Q? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, hang on, I see. Ah, there we go. So, uh, holding down the right mouse button gives me the Tomb Raider style wheel. Okay, so photo. A young boy. The client wants you to show this photo to the target. It should be the last thing he sees. Our little darling... What on the back there? Our little darling, his birthday in the keys, I think it says. Okay. Coin. Equip and throw. All right. Agent 47 is kind of like L then. L, sorry? Well, uh, well yes. Uh, he is uh, He is effectively, from the first game in the series, a clone of a number, or rather sort of like a... I don't know what the term would be. Like a just out? Just out? Like a, like a, a mix of different individual donors. Uh, and it turns out those donors were all very, very powerful crime lords who sort of... Well, had their, their genes spliced together. G, got it. Thank you. To make an incredibly, an incredibly genetically well-equipped individual. Can I get the whole way? Yeah, it's just, it should just be the training level. So if I right-click, good. It put, oh no, hang on, I don't want to get that out. to the theatre. Look through a keyhole. I see I have to crouch to do it. Okay. So I have to... Oh no, damn, I've been made. No, no, it's fine. Leave me alone. Damn, have I screwed up? Hello? Uh, 
I'm just gonna go this way. Thank you, most random. Thank you very much. I don't think I, don't think I get rid of them, can I? Have I failed the tutorial level? <laughs> I can't get rid of them. Shit. Had no choice. Okay. That's the lawyer. Yeah. Help, help right. Me. Help, help me. Okay, so what's he got? I can drag the body, space to pick up the weapon. What is my is my I haven't played it in years. Okay. Thank you, uh Bade Meister R. Thank you very much, Bade. Okay, hang on. Grab these. Oh, it's the same type of gun, is it? Oh, obviously, yeah. Right. Uh, thank you, Simon Says. Thank you very much, dude. No. We're going to set him on fire. Alright, ignoring him. Right. Okay, so just walking towards an object, object will climb it. Jump the balcony, okay. So does it do that automatically? Yes it does, oh, no, yep. Yeah. Need to hold the button down. Okay, there we go, ah, there we go. Sweet. So yes, um, as said, so 47 is, uh, is effectively far from, hu de well, uh, superhuman, effectively, a clone So a guy at the two guys. Clear the room. Alright. Right. Be atches and paper. <laughs> so I'm just trying to remember all the controls. What's the first person? There we go. So I need to pick the lock first, right? Okay. Some gang bosses decided to make a super clone out of their DNA. Well, they didn't necessarily volunteer, shall we say. They were tricked by a a gentleman called Dr. Or Dr. Ortmeier, who he, I suppose you could say is the majority donor of uh, 47's DNA. But Dr. Ortmeier sampled many individual, yeah, co many of his colleagues, shall we say. The top men of various different crime syndicates, and created not just 47, 40, 47. He was the 47th, you know. So there were there were 40, there were 46 before that point. But uh, when 47 returned from a mission, he effectively killed Doctor Doctor Ortmeier and all of the other clones. Yeah, top men. Okay, hide in the closet quickly. Chemist. So they were snorting drugs on the table. This guy's a chemist. What's he gonna do? He's gonna help himself to the cash, I think. Okay, and then I can go right click. Make sure I sneak. Fibre wire to strangle a target. I don't need to hold it down. I'll just yet, yeah, just let it go. Cool. I think in the other in the other entries in the series you had to hold it down. Okay, so I'm going to, yep, wear his clothes, space, okay. Right, so now I look like the chemist. Take his security ID. I'm good, Officer Smiley, I hope you're well. Can I stick him in the closet? Don't think it really matters at this point, but you know, practice. Yeah, uh, no, I can't, oh, I can't, all right. Was oh, is that a knife? It is. Now there's one, get the knife. There we go. And is it G to put it away? No, it's G to drop it. How do I put it away? Right click, maybe? Right click. <laughs> Try not to stab yourself. Right, okay. Okay, just going to give it a save. So I think I've got three saves for the tutorial. Yes. Right. Lara Croft uh, on the cabinet? What that? Eh, nah. It, it just 
a, that's just a generic female model for blood money. Oops. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I can see it. Yeah. Wait, I you interact? Sorry, am I going mad? Who? I interactive. No, no, no. Sorry, it's Core, isn't it? Core made Tomb Raider, and then after that, it was Crystal Dynamics, and then after that, it was someone else. I can't remember. It's been too long. Right. Okay. So I've got the key code, key card, even. Here we go. So I've already saved. Can you? Yeah. Continue to walk past the guard. Don't let him get too good a look. He's watching me. Yeah, the gang operate from this derelict amusement park. Place a gun in the green crate. I can do it if I'm careful. No? Place it. Here we go. So I've placed a gun in there. Just need to make sure that I don't have any, any other weapons on me that can be discovered. In case I get frisked. Okay. Pick up the crate. I've got it. Right, there we go. Let's go. Okay, so this guard is presumably going to frisk my character. So by placing the weapons in the crate... Gotta check you, white bread. Okay. Metal detector. Alright, you cool. I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? Okay. What's happening down there? So Mr. Spooks is the gang leader. Um, hang on a minute. So presumably I don't need this in my hand anymore. Oh, can I drop down? Yeah, put down the green crate. Okay. Placing it down. Retrieve the gun. Okay. Got it. Get on top of the elevator. Okay, so the, the elevator's broken. So this is demonstrating that I can use the fiber wire to strangle a guard if he's beneath me. Let's do that. Very Leon the professional there. Okay, enter and yep. Drop down. Put that away just in case somebody sees me. Right, disable the power. I see, this is where they're making the drug. Right, disable the power box. Here we go. Sneak through the factory. Here we go. So none of the women making the produce can see anything. I can move through carefully. Enter the toilet. Okay, they can't see me. Oh, somebody's in here. Use the gangster as a human shield. Okay. How does one do that again? Like they say. Hang on. As long as they come, as long as they pin. What? Oh, the uh, space maybe? I see E. I've got his weapon. I've grabbed it off his back. There we go. Right. Clear the next room. Easy peasy. Okay, knock him out. Right. Stand by. Am I being followed? I was. 
anymore. Possibly. Reload. Okay. Is there a weapon down there, uh, down there I can steal? What's that on the floor? Uh, no, I think it's just the same types of weapons. No, we're all good. Right. Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. I am uh, apoplexed. Um, it's not my thing, I'm afraid. It does look like a good game, uh, Monster Hunter World, but it's just it's just not to my taste. It's not my type of game. It's uh, it's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... And uh, I know the, what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal. And I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to. But, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, they're yeah the the well the gang's here to stay. Okay. So yep, yeah, this is a demonstration of the sniper rifle mechanic. So I can pick up the rifle suitcase, unpack it. So but in a suit in suitcase form, I can clearly move it move it around and take it where it needs to be. Um, thank you. Uh, so um, Isbichi, is that you say? Thank you, Isbichi. Thank you. Right. Hang on. So I'm trying to remember the buttons. So that puts the gun away. I have to. I see. I have to drop the suitcase. No. What? Oh, I see. I got it. So same as any other weapon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I was expecting him to sort of assemble the gun, like put it out. But no, no, just the gun's in there. It's fine. You know. Right. Okay. So snipe the three guns outside. Uh, I'll probably give it. Should I save it now? That no, should be fine. Snipe the three guards. Whoopsie. How does one? Is it just the fire key? Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. What's the key to aim? Middle mouse? Damn, I've forgotten. <laughs> I just shot the shit out of that seagull, though. Um, what's the key to aim? Does anyone remember? It's been too long. X? Is it X? Thank you very much. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, hello. So guard up there. Guard there. One. Two. Where's the third guy? Maybe the third guy was the seagull. Is he up there on the broken ferris wheel? So this is where the accident occurred. This is where 36 people died, at least. Where's the third guy? Am I going mad? At the roof, sorry? Oh yes, thank you very much. So he is, oblivious. Both him and me. Okay, there we go, get outside. Right, put the gun away. Uh, yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going. Open door. Climb down the drain pipe. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Down. There we go. Right. Find the door to the office. Take care, toast, uh, Toasty Boy. Have a good one. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. So it's over here. Pick up 
pick up the syringe. Here. Syringe poison. I don't think I need the suitcase now. I'm pretty sure I can just put this down. Not the syringe. Hang on. the secretary to yeah wait for the secretary to, uh, secretary to go inside but we'll save it now actually because I'm pretty sure yeah there we go right save save successful there we go push the guard over the rail so with no weapon in my hand I can push people over ledges what's the button it's just left click yeah it is there we go right poison the secretary's drink So stainless steel, surgical syringe, contains lethal combination of sodium uh, penth pentanol? Uh, sorry, penta pentothal, uh, pavalon, and potassium chloride. Kills instantly. I thought that the syringe was actually the an anesthetic, but I guess not. Okay, she's gone. Right. So into the uh, the Swing King's office. Put this away. Right. Who the hell are you? How do you Thank you, Lorathar. Thank you. Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Okay, so he's got the photograph. Is enough? Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? I can't sleep. I haven't slept in the guilt I feel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Job done. So yes, yeah, so for those just joining, this gentleman was responsible for laps uh, safety protocols here at the park. Um, can I grab the, the photograph? Hang on. Drag the body. I don't think my client would appreciate me leaving the photograph behind as evidence. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, can we just grab that? Okay, there we go. Right. So yes, um, so this gentleman was responsible for, uh, for lapsed uh, safety protocols which resulted in the death of 36 people, innocent people attending the uh, fair. Uh, he since fell in with a, a, a drug, uh, well, a drug syndicate who have took over his derelict park and uh, I'm sure his death will be chalked up to well those gang members over there wait I could have sworn that there's um that you bump into the gang leader himself I guess maybe it's further ahead Ooh, another option to have executed him with but yes uh, so again so the hitman front hang on a minute climb out the office window there we go yes that's it oh pick up the bomb devices Yep, detonator here. And a mine. Okay. Hi there, uh, Dov Dovast uh, Dovastator? Hi there. Wait, how do you say that? Dovast Dovastor. Hi there, Dovastor. Dovastor, that's how you say it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I seem to be struggling this morning. Thank you, uh, Hasaka. Hasanka. Ah! Yeah, I'm really struggling with basic English. Okay, climb through this window. So my target has, has been killed. Right, place a bomb on the winch. Look.
Aha. Uh -huh. Right, okay, so with the bomb on the winch, this is the detonator. Will it get all of them though? I don't think it will. Hang on. Oh, I'll hit it, hit it anyway. So hit the two guards, but not the dude himself. Where is the exit, sorry? Find the exit, sorry? Where's the exit? Is it over there? Hmm. Alright. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Can't aim for shit. There we go. Find the exit. Okay. Well, I can't have witnesses. I can't have the girl live and report what she saw. Oh, he had a Desert Eagle. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll keep that. Can I reload? It's got nine bullets. Okay. Is this it? There we go. Cool, so that was the tutorial. Right, so at the end of each level, you get a, you know, a sort of overview uh, newspaper, which I thought was, it, it, it gets a bit, um, you know, towards the end, you can just tell it's a score sheet. Uh, you know, they, they could have spent a bit more time, I think, uh, writing some custom copy. Like, towards the end, it's sort of like, um, you know, you see the same words copied uh, several times uh, across many, many newspapers. Um, but still, it's quite interesting. Um, it, was, it was quite a creative way of showing a scoreboard. So in this case, uh, sports today, uh, the, uh, what is it, the Tong Island Sun? Tong? Hong? Hmm. Uh, Lean Killer Massacres 19. Right, so yeah, so it reports on the number I killed, and you get like a title, like, Silent Assassin, you know. Or whatever, or, or you know, if um, if the if the target dies and it's an accident, then there's no mention of you at all. Um, right. So Joseph, uh, so Joseph Clarence killed. Police suspect blood money is involved. Baltimore, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, 10th of January 2004. Baltimore Police Department confirms this morning that the former theme park tycoon Joseph Clarence was killed at the closed theme park Southland Amusement Park last night. Thank you, Deathwing. Thank you very much. Mr. Clarence was believed to be a victim in a violent episode that caused 18 additional deaths and injured two other people. Who did I... Sorry, who did I injure? I, I knocked out two guys, didn't I? Uh, among the others killed were two innocent bystanders. 16 security professionals working for Mr. Clarence were also killed. Aha. Uh -huh. Police tend to put a low priority on investigating the deaths of armed security and guard personnel. Doctors at the Franklin Square Hospital Center are at the moment trying to save the lives of two victims in serious condition. They are believed to be associates of Mr. Clarence. Investigators also report that 37 shots were fired by the assassin, judging from the bullet holes and cartridges found in the crime scene. A, co a comparison of the shots and wounds on the victims has led the to the assumption that the shooter is an, is an experienced sh uh, shooter of limited skill and dangerous enthusiasm. Uh, residents in the area have reported that they have heard a succession of what sounded like gunshots. Investigators found 9mm cartridges around the area, indicating that the pistol is possibly of the type SLP-40. Sorry, of the type SLP-40 may have been used uh, in the murder. Okay. Um, it uh, concerns the authorities that six of the victims were brutally executed by shots to the head. So as you can see, it's just it's just an overview of your kills, the innocents, what weapon you used the most, and you know uh, your headshots. One of the victims was found dead in mysterious circumstances. Forensic scientists are now working to determine if the cause of death was natural or foul play. So that's the guy I knocked off the balcony. The discovery of several hidden bodies indicates that this was the work of a criminal. Uh, this was the work of a criminal. Baltimore Police Departments are at the moment questioning a witness that escaped the scene alive. Shit, who escaped the scene alive? Uh, the witness describes the perpetrator as a chameleon because the person was caught trying to enter a restricted area wearing a disguise. 
Thank you, Silver Pegasus. Thank you. Right, so anyway, so apart from that, we get some more interesting flavor text. <laughs> Kids lemonade stand condemned and demolished. Okay. Uh, hang on. Lemonade stand. Uh, drugs cartel liquidated. Okay, so hang on. Police were shocked but not entirely surprised by yesterday's bloodshed at the abandoned Southland Amusement Park. Most law enforcement officials um, concede that they uh, that, that, that they've been aware of the illegal ac illegal activity on the grounds for several years. We suspected something was going on, says Chief of Police Kevin Armstrong. But we uh, but since it was private property and the Swing King lived out there, you know, we weren't receiving any complaints. There wasn't much we could do. And now it appears that they won't. Uh, but yeah, that they won't have to. Yesterday's violence apparently cleaned the park out uh, in a way law enforcement officials never could or would have attempted. Uh, it was a story told by body bags. Whoever did this, the chief observes, uh, and we're thinking it was some kind of rival gang or some very unhappy business associate. Uh, whoever did this is still guilty of multiple murders, and we're obviously going to pursue them. But I'd be lying if I said uh, we weren't a, li a little relieved. Makes our job a whole lot easier when the bad guys take each other down for us. Attorneys for Joseph Swing King Clarence's estate have said that the def defunct park will be auctioned off to cover outstanding, outstanding legal expenses uh, their clients who were killed in the violence have built up in recent years. Clarence is survived by his wife, who was reportedly working with attorneys to file for divorce at the time of his death. Right. Biotech boom. What's this? So the biotech boom of the 1990s is widely credited as uh, having been created as having created more than 40,000 jobs in the Southlands region. Following Monday's announcement that the Human Genome Solutions HGS will be closing down its local operations, uh, so the biotech sector may dip below 5,000 for the first time. So, in this world, so falling biotech research. The anti-cloning movement is understandable as an instinctive, if misinformed, rebellion against the uh, commoditization of human life. So, people are aware that clones exist, but there's something of a, a you know, a lack of a market, effectively. Thank you, uh, Ar Archangel D and the Great Schnapper and uh, Megalodon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So, this is important, effectively. So, it's highlighting that, um, you know, clones exist, but uh, there's some sort of public rebellion against them. Cold-blooded killers on the run. Two death row inmates escaped custody yesterday during a spectacular attack on a prison transport system. The transport was struck in transit by an armoured truck. A dramatic and bloody firefight followed the collision. The escaped convicts have been identified as Adam, Marcus and Mr. Little. Dozens were killed in the episode, described by one witness as, a brutal, op as brutal open warfare. The FBI described the operation as staggering in its precision. Marcus is a notorious mercenary, rumoured to be a member of The Seven, but police dismiss rumours of the organisation's involvement. The Seven. Mr. Little is, on the other hand, reportedly reported to be unstable and heavily medicated, a heavily medicated psychopath. Both both are convicted convicted murderers. Ugh, I'm str I'm struggling today. Uh, armed and dangerous. Okay, right. So, next level. Seems we weren't the we weren't the only person interested in the goings on. Could that be Mr. Little? Right. Okay. Save. Okay. <clears throat> Why not Hitman Absolution? Um, well, it's worth noting. Sorry, I haven't I haven't mentioned it yet. Um, the series uh, had a bit of an odd an odd run. Um, basically, what happened was it, it what happened to this series was the same thing that kind of happened to Chaos Theory. But it was a bit more, um, I don't know, a bit more rocky. Uh, so what happened was there was Hitman, the first Hitman. And truth be told, the first Hitman wasn't very good. Uh, as in it had the thief problem in that they, 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 they put too much action into the game. At one point you had a mini gun and you just had to sort of mow people down. Um, so they, they eventually scaled it back and realized that, okay, no way, it's a stealth game. You know, with, with, lo with lots of sand, sandbox style options for killing your target. Um, and then, they, of course, they created Hitman 2. Uh, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, which was wonderful and people loved it and, it, and it's still, you know, really, really high up there in terms of uh, 
uh, in terms of um, critical reception. After that, they made contracts in which they actually went back and remade quite a lot of the levels from the first Hitman, just with this new, you know, now they found their feet. And again, it was very good. Uh, contracts is considered by many to be... Uh, it may be the best, as in it's either between this, uh, Blood Money, or Contracts, the third one. The third or the fourth one for the title of the best of the Hitman series. Uh, of course, then, then they made this one, Blood Money, which is very good. Again, high reception. Um, unfortunately, then they made Absolution. Now, I, I apologize if I get this wrong, but um, I believe they, um, they changed the franchise rather dramatically in that instead of having uh, like a sprawling sort of different ways in, you, in which you can do it, and lots of replay value. They made it very cinematic and also very linear. Linear. Like I remember one of the complaints was that you effectively navigate your way to the target through one of, say, two ways. And when you get there, a cutscene plays where you don't even get to kill the target. You know, it, 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 missed, it missed the point of a Hitman game in many ways. In that the idea is it's up to you through repetition learning patrol routes and learning the level and all the different you know once you completed a level oh my god there was a knife in the kitchen or oh there was like um you know there was like a c4 charge that i could i could have used <gasps> i should do it again you know as in through repetition or uh, uh, getting better at killing your target they made it a sort of like jack bauer 24 i think uh, 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 i think that's at least my understanding um after that they went fuck we screwed up they made um what is it called? What's the one after Absolution? Did they just call it Hitman? They made like another, the, the, the next entry in the series, but then they did something a bit interesting in that they tried to embrace a different, uh, a different type of um, monetization strategy. I think it was um, like Half-Life, oh, was it just called Hitman? Uh, they just called it Hitman. Um, I think they did like a, um, like a, like an episode, you know how like Half-Life episodes one, two, three, you know, as in like small, like here's part one, here's part two. I think they did that. But it didn't go well for some reason. I can't, rem I can't remember what the reason was. I can't recall what the reason was. There, there, there was a reason why that didn't work. But regardless, um, the, you know, after this entry in the series, they hit some seriously rocky ground. And it was, at least in Absolution's case, it was their fault. Um, thank you, uh, idiot... Wait. Idot, sorry. Thank you, Idot and Teo and uh, Risby and the Dark Dongus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so sorry, that's just a quick overview overview, uh, overview of the Hitman franchise. Um, so yes, this is um, uh, there are about five or six entries in the series, and um, yeah, after the fourth one, it went wobbly. Thank you, Born to Die. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, okay. Uh, I've lost control of my mouse, and I don't know why. Has the game crashed? Hang on. Oh no, we're fine. Okay. Ah, okay, so yes, between each level, I get to go back to the hideout that 47 has established. So in uh, contra- what was it in contracts? Did he have one in contracts? Or am I going mad? So he had one- no, no, he was unconscious in, in contracts, wasn't he? Uh, he had one in, in Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. It was the villa in Sicily. And uh, in contracts, it was sort of flashbacks of uh, when he was injured. So he was, yeah, not walking around between missions. And in this one, it's- uh, well, this basement. So you get to view the weapons that you found. I believe you, you get to take some with you, I think, on your next mission. Which gives you more options in, in terms of what you can do on site. So what have we got here? It's cool. Okay. Just explaining what happened to the series counts as a rant. Oh, is it, are you being sarcastic, uh, non-chips? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know that's just that's just my understanding of the series. Apologies if I got it, if I got it wrong. I, I haven't exactly been following it like super carefully. Hang on. Oh crap! That's crap. How do I? What is aim again? I guess it's how you have to go first person. Okay. What are, what other guns do I have? So this wall is empty. <clears throat> Showing all the different pistols I can find. Submachine guns. Shotguns. And uh, what, what, look, what looks like a hunting rifle. 
Uh, I don't know. That's a bullpup of some kind. That's uh, another bullpup. That's a rifle. Ooh. Oh yes, this is the uh, that really awkward sniper rifle that saw limited manufacturing release. The uh, W2000. Yes. So it's press X. Can I zoom with this mouse wheel? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. 47. Oh no, did he hit? Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I did. Ooh. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hmm. So yes, uh, 47 as a character is, is, is a bit interesting and in that he's very much the, um, he's very much a, a, a sort of, um, well, he, he, he's not, well, he's not human in, in the sense that he's superhuman in every way, but he, he hasn't really had a childhood beyond, he, he was grown and accelerated in terms of his overall growth. So humans, he does not understand at all. Um, he doesn't think the way they do. He doesn't live with them. He tries to sort of isolate himself. Yeah, he has a strange... Yeah, he keeps animals sometimes. Hello. Canary. Okay. Right, uh, so I believe I can leave to the next mission. Or is there a laptop? I can't re can't remember. I'm sorry, do you mind if I just I just grab a... I'm just going to get some water. Hang on. Just going to get a quick drink. You okay, Lulu? Yeah, she's fine. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay, for those uh, just joining the stream, I'm just doing a bit of uh, Hitman Blood Money, and I'm, ab I'm about to start the first mission after the tutorial, but second mission insofar as the playthrough. Uh, okay, exit hideout. <laughs> just with a shotgun. Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you this way. Rick Henderson, I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but...
but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Fernando Delgado used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab. Hang on a second. Oh, do I miss the underground? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Fernando's son Manuel is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. <clears throat> Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. Thank you, Dark Seven Lord Seven Seven. Thank you, and uh, Sazan Nav, and Born to Die, and the Dark Dongus. Thank you, all of you. Um, right, sorry. So, what we just learnt there, uh, we discovered that uh, so a journalist has been lured to uh, that gentleman's mansion. The gentleman, we don't know who he is, uh, but he appears to be requiring medical attention from a nurse, uh, and he has taken the journalist there at some point in present day. Uh, to talk about the events that occurred in 2000, early 2004, February 2004, um, involving the assassination of two gentlemen and a vineyard, uh, and and how it sort of caught his attention. Uh, also, I'd like to draw attention to the fact that the journalist was there to talk about something called the White House attack at some point in the present day. Um, so, yeah, or at least you know, having occurred before the present day. So, um, yeah, right. So um, here we are. So uh, we've been hired to assassinate so Don F. Uh, Delgado this retired colonel colonel working for Chile's feared intelligence service is considered a well respected and highly successful wine producer even though this is just a cover operation for his true business drug trafficking to promote this year's fine line of, uh, of Chilean wed rock fine line of Chilean wed red wed Jesus fine line of Chilean red wine I'm okay he has persuaded the, the American movie actor Rex Stanton to endorse it. His agent is one of Delgado's main customers and well-connected in Tinseltown, where trade is booming. Thank you, Neomancer. Thank you. Okay, so he's target number one. Second target, Manuel Delgado, the eldest son of the Fernando uh, Zavador Delgado. Um, of Fernando. Um, he tries to live up to his father, father's reputation and aspirations. He wishes nothing higher than to walk in the footsteps of his of his beloved papa, but has already broken the number one, number one rule, never use the stuff yourself. Uh, he has no formal education and spends most of his time water skiing, playing tennis, or downloading porn from the internet. Okay. Uh, the daily cocaine high makes him unpredictable and dangerous. Uh, cover boxes are for sissy cowards. Hmm. Okay. Once I've completed my objectives, I can escape the vineyard via seaplane. Right. Select my weapons. Okay, so standard equipment. So I've got my, um, what is it, my fiber wire. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily. So this is my uh, standard pistol, the silver baller. I've got two of them typically. I don't really need it. I can use weapons on site. How do I get rid of it? Sorry. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go with the weapons. On, well, yeah, I'm going to go with the weapons that I find on site. Okay. Thank you, twenty. Thank you. <laughs> An entire cigar. Thank you, Con4Z. Thank you. 
Okay, so, under the cover of, what was it, a pensioner group? How do I access the, uh, hang on, the hint screen again. There was a way of doing it, I can't remember. Okay, right. So, let's have a look and see what we can find then. So, wine cellar, the hacienda. Thank you, Rassi, thank you. Hello. Film crew. Okay, so that's the B-list celebrity talking to his agent, telling him to mingle away with the pensioners. So that's the film crew here for the unveiling. Okay. Ooh, cake. Cake, cake, cake. Can I pick these up? <coughs> no. Oh, hang on. No. Press B. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Your next target's in Chile. Yes, of course. Right. Huh. <coughs> Is that the agent? That's the agent. Oh, a drunk employee. Cameraman. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to... Something, something in my throat. Thank you, June. Thank you. Is he drunk? Okay. Hangar. Guardhouse. Wine cellar. Some sort of tour group. That's one of my targets. The other one's in the Hacienda. Okay, so one target in the Hacienda. Oh, hang on. There he is, wearing a pink shirt. Hello. I'm here to murder you. Mwah. Right. So what's his patrol route? Have I played Blood Money before? Many times, but not for a couple of years now. Oh, hang on. Also, if I just wander in and go through all of the routes that I know are here, then it's going to kind of, you know, it's going to be a lame watch, isn't it? So I know from playing this many times that I can get in here, here, and here. I know that uh, I, if I follow the wine cellar, I can move him through to a point where I can assassinate him. I know there's an, there's an entry point to the Hacienda there. I know that I can kill this guy with the with the with something in his room. Is it a violin or something? He's playing the violin. But if I told you all of this straight off the bat, it would be a shitty stream. Better for me to discover it as I go and, you know, play Hitman properly. Instead of min-max it like a cunt. Although I can't remember all of the details, so I can't remember exactly where he goes. He goes down to snort cocaine, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed in here. Right. Wait, I thought I was. Oh, the wine cellar. So, I see a tour group. I've got to get in with the tour group. Well, no, it's just I'm just trying to make it an, make it an interesting stream. Sorry, how does the tour... Where, where's the tour group coming from? I don't remember where the tour group is. Hang on. Where's that stairwell? I thought it was here. Is it not there? Thank you, Heckbo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where are they going? Are they going down or up? Behind the wine cellar. Are you sure? So we can't get in there. Okay, hang on. Right, so I'm free to move... Right, so I can move... I can't get through here, or at least, okay, he'll spot me. So is this the same drunk guy? 
If I can take his hat and his clothes, I might be able to get through that side door. Thank you, SD7M. Thank you. So there's a way over the wall here and also around... So I can not only get over the wall, I believe I can get, I believe I can get on the roof. There's also a way around here. I think. Was this it? Thank you, Mallow. Thank you. No, maybe I'm going mad. I thought there was a way around here. Hello. Loud ass waterfall. Is this it? No. I see. I don't remember this bit. Can I even get down here? Or do I need to um, squish against the wall? How does one do that? Hmm. We're just bugged out. Oh, is this just a bug, is it? Oh, great. <coughs> That's the escape plane. Uh, it looks like a way in. Look. Then you can get that guy in his uniform, I think. A V-Sync issue. Really? Huh. Never mind. I have other options. So yes, I can take this guy and his uniform. What do I have? So I've got the fiber wire. So I have a mine and a detonator. Oh, yes, okay. okay. So that's the difference. So there's a poison syringe and a sedative. Thank you, Aether Emp. Thank you very much, Aether. Thank you. Hang on. So let's just fiber wire this dude. Hang on. Right, drag his body. Obviously, if I turn on V-Sync, I can get past that point. Oh, dear. There we go. Okay, change to his uniform. I stand out a bit. So long as, so long as I don't get too close to the other guards, I should be alright. Okay, here we go. Right. No, no, a Aether. Thank you, Aether Imp. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support, sir. Okay, so... I believe I can get access to this courtyard. No one's looking. I can go now. There we go. Right. So there's, there's a difference between the interior guards and the exterior ones. Thank you, Song of the Void. Thank you. Thank you, man. So the workers shouldn't be suspicious. No problem, Spawn. Thank you for funding the content. Instead of having me go get a real job. Right, so there's a pipe that I can get up to here to get to the second floor of the Hacienda. Yep, this is the one. Is he watching me? Give it a save now, hang on. Okay. Thank you, the Dark K. Thank you very much. There we go. There we go, straight to the target's room.
Wasn't there a thing I can kill him with here? Oh, it's knocking him off. Yeah, I can pretend it's an accident by knocking him off the balcony. He goes out there. It's either this room or the other one. For now, though, we'll just kill him with... Kill him with poison. There we go. We got him. First target eliminated. Okay. Right. Oh, he's got a snub nose pistol, does he? Ah, okay. Grab that. Yes, that'll do. Hide that. Okay. Right, so that's yes, yeah, so that's the uh, second floor of the hacienda. I think some internal guards do come up here, but they don't come into this room. So the wine cellar is this beneath? That's beneath the hacienda. So that's the lab. Okay. Light is still coming through the closed door. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Zero out of ten. Boo. Okay. I can throw him off the balcony. Yeah, good point. Yeah, hang on. Oh no! This man was so depressed. Oh, hang on. Drag the body. This man was so depressed that he injected a whole load of poison into his neck and then jumped off. Right. His bed chamber. I'm just looking for anything that might prove useful. So two small rooms. Okay. Bed, uh, bathrooms maybe? Yeah. Okay. Storeroom. Any, anything of note? Oi. Sorry, there's something on the couch. Freak, what's on the couch? Oh god! There's a dude on the couch! He's sleeping? Holy shit, I've never noticed this guy. Never once. Fucking hell. So I could let's it seems seems a bit overkill to sedate a guy who's already sleeping. Yup. Right, then I can take his clothes. Okay, VIP guard, alright. But I've got a limited amount of time before, um... Jesus Christ, look at those gains. Fucking hell, dude. Fucking eight pack. Guy's completely ripped. Must be all that sleeping. Uh, pick the lock. Okay. So they're not showing up. How strange. Why are the guys not showing up? On the on the what's it? Is it expert mode maybe? Do you reckon? Oh, are the guards not showing up on the map? Maybe the guards aren't showing up. Yeah, I did leave the shotgun on the balcony. It's fine. Oh, that that sucks. Half the fun is planning the patrol routes. Yeah, with the with the map with the map. Huh. I see this is where I can grab uh, the stuff that I've dropped off. Eh, yeah, okay. Wine bottles. So where's the entrance to the lab? 
There is a door that goes down. Okay, so I can pick up a knife from the kitchen. Which I can use to assassinate, if needs be. So yes, uh, again, um, I know I'm stating the obvious, but the whole um, the whole sort of attraction behind Hitman is that you, you do the level once, and you probably, yeah, you're probably all, all right. You might have had to, you know, you probably fucked up a couple of times and had to kill somebody. But then the next time you try it, you know the layout. You know the layout, you know where fun things are. Maybe you've grabbed some weapons that you'd like to try out this time, you know? Thank you, uh, Messiha. Thank you very much, Messiha. So, you know, each time you get... Um, you get better. Sorry, is it? I can throw the knives, can't I? Yes, they added that in this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, these get stuck in like people. It's really, really cool. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right, that that door there. I sh probably shouldn't be out here. Okay. Uh. Stairwell, there you go. So that must be the lab. But yes, the the, the pleasure the pleasure in <clears throat> in Hitman is through uh, ex expertise through repetition. So this is this part, right? So the drugs lab is over here. Good, there are still guards of this flavor. Elevator. Can't I overload? Oh, hang! Can't I poison the cocaine or something? Oh, look! That's the uh, the manager. So he's in with the cartel, is he? Right. Okay. So I'm guessing this is yeah it's suit. For, yeah, worker suit. All right. So I can dress up as a worker if I get to this point. Ah, that's how you get in. I remember now. Yes. So one of the beer... Beer? One of the um, wine barrels is fake. Look. Yeah, leading to the lab. So yes, here's the tour... Yeah, the tour group. So I could join the tour group, get the first dude, who's over here. Right. So this is my second target. I believe I can poison his cocaine, I think. That's the tour group. Yes, yeah, so I can join the tour group, get down here, kill him, go through to the lab, dress up as a worker, move through there to the uh, hacienda. So that's another way of doing it. So can I get this? Maybe I should save it. Hang on. Whoopsie. Ah, ah. Right. Also, what is the time? Um, oh, it's currently one o'clock, so I, I'm pushing it for um, for my stream time. I've got to uh, got to get on with my job. Hang on. Oh fuck us! You didn't see anything. It's fine. He's all right. He's just having a nap. It's fine. He's having a nap. Just to see. It's fine. See? He'll be all right. Seriously? No one heard? Oh Christ! Some guy shot that dude. I don't know where he went. Where could he? Where could he have gone? We must raise the alarm. Quickly, raise the alarm. Alarm! Alarm! There's a madman with a shotgun. Okay, loading. <laughs> right. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. So he was being watched. I didn't know. Ah, oh, damn. He's a static guard just standing there. He's not He's not a patrol. 
Wait, what happened to the guard that was standing there? Is he the same guy? Hmm. Throw a coin. Good point. I did. I forgot about the coins. So that's the tour group. Can I throw it while he's watching me? I can't remember. Well, that's super suspicious. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dance for me, peasant. Turn around! <laughs> what? What do you want? <laughs> you keep think I'm you think I'm saying Thor group? No no tour group. So how did the tour group get in? Oh, no, it is that door. I went through that door. So I guess I've just got to wait for the tour group to go in. Da, 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 da. Can I run with this uniform? Is it suspicious? There's my target. Throw a goddamn coin behind the barrel to attract the pink, the pink dude. No, no, I wanted to see if I could... Um, can I poison this? Sometimes you can poison. Maybe I need the need specific poison. Yeah. Hmm. Go behind the guard and then throw the coin. Over there, it's a coin. Come on. What's that? It's a coin. What's that? There's another coin. What's that? There's a coin. What's that? It's a knife. Oh, okay. That wasn't me. Ow! Okay, that, that, right, okay. Uh, thank you, Ark Titan. Thank you very much, Ark. Thank you. Right. Um, I need to be holding the poison syringe to poison the drugs. Do you reckon? Normally, it's like a contextual thing. Hello. Oh, really? You're gonna come to me? Okay. Oh, see, that's the door that. Oh. Sorry, I'm incredibly dense. But it's it's too suspicious. The guy would be like, "Hey, you're poisoning that man's cocaine. That is rude." Oh no, apparently not. Can I? Oh, I can hold the syringe. Oh no, I can't. Apparently. Jesus, just walk over and ask why you're holding the syringe. Don't immediately shoot the dude. Also, you're rubbish at shooting. So are you. Oh no, innocent people. Jesus Christ, the stopping power on this weapon. Ah! Ah! Yeah, fuck, hang on. Right. So hang on a minute. If he just walks through here, then I can just go. Da 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 What? What? That's that's but you see in his his paranoid cocaine fever. He's gonna be like, hey, you're an assassin. No reason to no reason to think that I'm an assassin. Hey boss. Quickly, 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 quickly. Hurry, throw it, throw it! This is shit! <laughs> oh dear. Ignore the kitchen knife. Right, hang on. Da 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 Yeah! Gotcha. Oh shit. Oh no, in front of an entire tour guy. 
<laughs> in front of the tour group. Quickly, no witnesses. No witnesses. Oh, fuck. I don't just push him. Shoot him. Shoot him. No witnesses. Oh, what? I only bought two bullets. What bullshit is that? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Quickly. You wouldn't shoot a woman, would you? You wouldn't shoot an old woman. You wouldn't shoot her. Oh, they're not shooting her. Oh, God. Okay. Yes, they will. Ah. Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm bleeding to death. I see. <laughs> That's a cool effect. I am dead. Hmm. Right, okay then. Yeah, it, it is pretty pretty creative though. I do like it. Um, right. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry. It, it's seven minutes past one. I, I I best be off now. So um, yeah, I'm I'm going to uh, go and edit. Uh, yeah, go and get on with editing today. So between one o'clock and eight o'clock. So after the morning stream, um, I go off and I edit for YouTube. Uh, so right now I'm working on PUBG Bullshittery Part Three. Um, so I best go and uh, best go and do my job basically. Um, ugh. So yeah, thank you for watching, uh, folks. Thank you, thank you very much. Come on, I want to get this fucking guy with a fucking, fucking, fuck you, fuck, fuck you. Gotcha. That looks painful. Though probably not fatal. It's cut to the skull, wouldn't it? What do you think? Yeah. What are you doing? Give me that gun. Thank you. Yeah, I've only got one more shot. Drop it on the floor. I don't know what happened. I think they were, they were in a love triangle. They killed each other. A suicide pact, I tell you. <clears throat> Honestly, I swear. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you doubt me? I'm clearly one of you. Here, give me that gun. Thank you. Hang on. No, 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 no. All right, fine. I'm done. Uh, thank you, Dead Vixen and Evil Cheese. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Right. right, there we go. Um, right. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to head off and get on with it, really. Okay. Uh, I should edit on stream to see how it... Well, the trouble is, Dilbert, um, me editing and me playing games, very, very different experience. Hang on. Hmm. Okay. In that uh, I, I can't sit here and talk. I've got to focus and work. You know, I've got to I've got to properly uh, sit quietly and, and edit. And uh, often I have stuff on in the background just to make the editing less tedious. So it's going to be me uh, probably. What, what was I watching uh, the other day? I can't. Just just different stuff. I, I watch um, like a whole load of video essays and stuff. Did I? Uh, sorry, Daedalus. Did I? Thank you, Daedalus. Thank you for subbing. Thank you. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Um, right, so uh, yes, I'm just going to go and get on with uh, the editing then. Right, um, so who's streaming? Yuki streaming, anyone else? Okay. Uh, Yuki and Alistair. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hand you back to Alistair again. So Alistair is currently currently playing uh, Shogun, sorry, Shadow Tactics Blade of the Shogun, Blades of the Shogun. And um, yeah, I'll leave you with him. So it's basically... Uh, commandos in feudal Japan um, and you can see how he goes so have a good day have a good afternoon if I don't see you again have a lovely lovely weekend <laughs>